Would you look at that, picture perfect. What a stunning winter's afternoon at Lake Buffalo. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. G'day everyone, this afternoon I've made my way to Lake Buffalo and it is just like a postcard up here at the moment. Absolutely beautiful. Now the plan for this afternoon, I've got a soft plastic on, I've got the three inch Strike Tiger Minnow in orange spawn colour. I'm going to work this bank around here just flicking soft plastics for redfin and then after that I'm going to go and set up somewhere, maybe over there or possibly over the other side of the lake. I'm going to set up with some bait and drown some worms for a couple of hours. So flick some plastics for an hour or so and then I'm going to go bait fishing for a couple of hours. I don't know how I'll go. I don't normally fish the lake up here this time of the year. I normally fish it in the summer and the autumn and then during the depths of winter I uh, I sort of stopped coming up here, so this could go either way. I'm not expecting too much to happen. I've seen reports of some really nice Murray Cod being caught up here recently, but I haven't heard too much about the redfin fishing. Anyway, only time will tell. Got him. I'm on. Took about three or four casts. Didn't feel like too bad a fish. Didn't feel like a monster though. Well that happened quicker than I expected. It's trout. Look at that. Victorian Fisheries Authority have recently stocked trout into Lake Buffalo. And I wasn't expecting to catch one. <laughs> it's a lovely brown trout. That could nearly go home and go in the smoker, I reckon. Oh, let me think. Will I, won't I? First trout I've caught since the season, trout season and the stream's closed. Tell you what I'll do, I'll at least get a photo while I decide whether or not I'm going to keep the fish. Well now, hopefully the photo came out okay. On a three inch orange soft plastic minnow, that's pretty cool. Look, I've decided I'll let it go. I'll put it in slow motion and see how we go. Hang on, mate. <laughs> you gone? Oh, I'm on the board. <laughs> Not with what I thought I would catch. I wasn't expecting to catch a trout. I never even thought about it. I, I do know that fisheries put some in here recently and I'd totally forgotten about that. Had I been targeting trout, I probably would have used a little black soft plastic nymph or something. Certainly not a three inch bright orange minnow. But anyway, I'm on the board. <laughs> that was cool. Got him. Down really deep. He hit it on the sink. Gee, he's a long way down. Not a bad fish. Might be an okay size ready if I'm lucky. I was just about to write this off and so I time to go and fish with worms. And it doesn't feel like too bad a redfin actually. Not a monster, but we well, aren't gonna fill it off him. Yeah! Mate, you're all coming home. <laughs> You beauty! I'm on the board with a redfin. Got one of each now, a redfin and a trout. An August redfin at Lake Buffalo. I was down deep. You beauty, I'll make a few more casts now. I was just about to pull the pin and say, time to go bait fishing. I'll get a photo. You ripper. I'll cast that out where it was and let it sink. It was right down deep. I thought to myself, I'll reel this in, then I'll just film a quick scene and say, right, oh, folks, I'm going to head back to the boat ramp and have a couple more casts. Then I'm going to go over there and drown some bait. But then I hooked a fish, so I've spent the last hour fishing my way all the way around this bay for nothing. I finally just caught one. Just hit the bottom. It's deep out there. That fish was down very deep. It's not a monstrous redfin, but he's certainly big enough for me to get a couple of fillets off. 
Right, no more fish have come along, but before I go bait fishing, I'm thinking about going over there. But before I do, I might walk around the other side of this island and have a go. I've caught redfin there before. I'll give that a crack first. I wonder if there's any yabbies under this rock. Oh yes, look at that! You ripper! Sorry, redfin, you can just go there in the shade. I'm going to take this yabby and use it for bait when I go bait fishing. I'll take all the, uh, I'll take everything out of there. <laughs> I'll put him in here. Cool, so I'm not going to be just fishing with worms now, it's going to be yabbies and worms. There you go, mate. Perfect redfin bait size. Put that under the bag so that it's not in the full sun. That'll be like a little hot house in there. Awesome. I wonder if there's any more. What about under here? Uh, a bit high up, I think. Right, well the first rock I turned over had a nice yabby under it, a nice bait sized yabby. Since then I've turned over probably 15 or 20 other rocks and haven't found another one. <laughs> I'll go lure fishing for a while and then when I go bait fishing I've got at least one yabby to use as bait. Got him. I was thought something might have grabbed that as it was sinking. Same as before. It was sinking, but it was only sinking really slow. I'm thinking, what's going on? It's not sinking very fast. Something grabbed that as it was going down. A little red fin. You can go back. You're not big enough to keep. It was really bizarre. I cast it out. And I was watching the line, and it slowed down, but it kept sinking. And I'm thinking, why well, is it still sinking so slowly? It's because this little fella grabbed it. <laughs> Mate, you're a bit small, so see you later, mate. I'll see you next year when you're big enough to whip a couple of fillets off. This is what just happened. I cast it out round about there somewhere, and I was watching the line sink. And look, I'm watching it sink now, and it's going out at a fair rate, but then it started sinking really slowly. That's just hit the bottom now, that stopped. It didn't stop before, it just kept feeding out really slowly. It's because a fish had grabbed it and started swimming with it. Well, I've caught two redfin on a trout, and both redfin have grabbed the plastic as it was sinking. What's a touch? Got him. Another one. This one might be a better one. Oh, yeah, this one's a better one. This one's going home with the other one, I think. Oh, yes, he'll do. He will do the big lift. He's not huge, but I'll certainly get a couple of fillets off that. I'll get my plastic out. Let's pull that down off the hook a bit. He's not huge, but he's quite a bit bigger than the last one, and he's big enough for me to get a couple of fillets off. Bloody ripper. So excited. Two in two casts. I'm on a, uh, a redfin hat trick in August. An August redfin hat trick. There's a boat over there. There's there's only one other car at the boat ramp, so that'll be them. Right, come on Redfin, hit me up. Hit me up with an August Redfin hat trick. Got him. I felt him take that then. <laughs> He's a thrower backer. Gee, it feels good to be getting a few readings this time of the year. 
I don't think I've ever caught red finning here on lures in August before. See you later, mate. Awesome. That last cast, I cast it way out there and let it sink. Then I'd reel it in a bit, let it sink. It seems to get deeper out here. So I let it sink into the real deep bit. And then I was just sort of bouncing it up and down off the bottom. And as soon as I felt a bit of resistance, I struck. So that didn't take long to sink there. So I'll reel that in there a little bit. I've probably brought that in six or seven feet. And now it'll take a lot longer to sink. Got him. I just felt him slowly take that in then. Once again, he's not a huge fish. They're not tiddlers, but they're not quite big enough to keep. Well, apart from the two that I have kept. At the moment, that'd be a monster in the freeway dam. <laughs> be interesting to see whether I'll get any on bait when I go bait fishing. Over on that point over there is where I'm going to go. I'm not catching cricket scores of, uh, of fish, but I'm certainly catching a few and I'm having a lot of fun. But speaking of cricket, while I'm just waiting for that to sink a bit, I'll just reel it out from the bank a bit deeper. And while I'm waiting for that to sink, to, well, to sink I'll tell you a funny story about the cricket. There's a bloke at work one day and his phone rings, that's his wife. She says, I've gone into labour. And, you know, two hours, three hours, four hours pass, and he hasn't heard anything. So he thinks, I'll ring the hospital and get an update. But he rang the wrong number and he got through to the local cricket ground and he says I'm just after an update and the bloke says there's three out we're hoping to get seven more out by lunchtime and the last one was a duck <laughs> quack 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 that's a rock I want a rock rock dun, 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 dun. I caught a rock rock dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes I got it off beauty I'll have a couple more casts out there in front of me. Then I'm going to make my way back to the boat ramp and have a couple of casts. And it's time to get the bait rods out and sit in the sun for the RV. Well, this has been lots of fun. But I'm going to gut those fish now. I'm going to put them in my car fridge. I've got my Bouge RV car fridge. The one that I reviewed a while ago. I've got that in the car. So I'll gut these fish, put them in the fridge. Then I'm going to drive over to that grassy bank over there and find somewhere to sit in the sun for the afternoon and... Drown some worms and a yabby. We've had a couple of nice redfin there, not big but big enough. Both fish are chock a block full of eggs. Redfin eggs. Look at them all. You ready to go fishing, mate? You ready to go fishing? You probably shouldn't be. Well, I've made my way over to my bait fishing spot. And I'm going to put some lines in my first rod, my long JD custom rod. It's got a running sinker rig and two Janjuk worms. And I'm going to cast that out a fair way. Just because the fish that I caught on plastics were all out deep. Apart from the trout. Now my second rod, my little stumpy, it's a Pat Noster rig. And I'm going to put my one and only Yabby on here. The reason that I'm putting the Yabby on the Pat Noster rig... It's just to try and keep the yabby off the bottom a little bit if I can to stop it from tunnelling into the grass and into the weeds and whatnot, into the mud. All I'm going to do, I'm going to get my hook. I'm just going to go right in about the middle of the tail and poke it straight through and he's ready to go. What could be more natural at Lake Buffalo than a Lake Buffalo yabby? They can go out there. Now both lines are in, my sunglasses are in the car where they're absolutely no good to me so I'm going to have to run back up that hill in a minute or huff and puff and walk slowly and get them. I've got my spinning rod down here with a soft plastic on it that I was using earlier just in case I'm not getting any action on bait and I decide to flick a soft plastic around for a while. But for now I think I'm happy to sitting in this beautiful winter sunshine without my sunglasses. Just had my first nibble on the worms. First one that I've seen anyway because I had to go up to the car and get my sunglasses. Tiny red fin, that would be my guess. How nice does this look? I'm just going to pan around.
absolutely glorious. Just had a pretty savage kind of a bite on me worms then. There's a bite. Take it. Got him. <laughs> Taking me about 40 minutes but I finally got my first fish on bait and I reckon it's a tiny weenie redfin. It's a very small something. Been bait fishing for about 40 minutes to get this fish. Well, I'm on the board with bait, but would you look at the size of it? It's safe to say that the quality fish are to be caught on lures at the moment. <laughs> Little red fin, see you later mate. I've just put one fresh worm on there to complement the uh, the old ones, the second hand ones. I've caught one fish on bait and it was smaller than any of the fish that I caught on lures. I wasn't filming because I didn't think I needed to, but I just checked my yabby and it was still alive and well, and I went the big heave and threw it clean off the hook. So it looks like double worms it is. I've run out of yabbies. I've run out of yabby. I'll hit record just in case there's a yabby under here, but I don't like my chances. Ugh, big spider. That'll probably work. There's a nibble. Just had another nibble. It's only been five minutes since I put the line back in. He's still sucking on it. <laughs> Missed him. What's that wrapped around? Why is that coming in right in front of me there? Uh, I knew it was wrapped around something right there. Pug right now. Why don't you just put that in? That's getting the board already. Got him. Feels a bit bigger than the last one too. I just threw this out and I thought while I'm standing up I'll check the weight of the bait on this short rod and it's got a nice bite. A bit more size about this fish. Don't know that it's a big fish but it's certainly bigger than the last little toddle that I caught. That is, oh, I could nearly get a fillet off him if I wanted to. I'll get a photo of him and put him back I think he's if I didn't have a feed, I'd probably keep him, but I've already got two and I just reckon I could go a little bit bigger. I kid you not, those worms were in for all of about 30 seconds. Ha! Oh, little redfin, see you later mate. Certainly bigger than the one I caught on worms before. Geez, they're a funny fish. You sit here for ages catching not too many, then you get a couple of bites in quick succession. I put one fresh worm on, just to go with the old one. There's lots of worms there, and there's a little bit of fresh worm smell as well. There's a nibble, there's a nibble. Take it, someone's playing with it, and... Oh, he picked it up and spat it out. Do you need to go? Just pull it a bit harder and pull down on the rod, and then I'll pull back and pull the hook into your mouth, mate. Like that, got him. Very small. It's only a little one. I know the big ones are out there. It's only a matter of time before I hook a monster, I reckon. That's halfway between the first one and the second one. So I've caught three year on bait, and this is the, the average one, the middle one. Bait redfin number three, be gone. I'm just going to leave those same worms on for a minute because I'm getting quite a lot of bites out there at the moment, so I dare say there might be a school or something out there. Nothing's happening with the short rod, but that's not out as far because that doesn't cast as far. Check this out, I'm halfway through filming a time lapse down here. I've got a Tommy time lapse camera going, but the battery went flat, so I've plugged it into my hand warmer. Remember the Akupa hand warmer that I reviewed recently? I said not only does it warm your hands, but it doubles up as a battery pack. Well, my time lapse would have been cut short before the sun set. But now it's uh, it's up and running again. It's being powered by my hand warmer. <laughs> that came in handy. 
I estimate that I've got about two minutes of sunshine left. Just looking over here, the shadow from that hill has made it to these trees just over here. The light's just fading now. I reckon uh, enjoy it for the next one, maybe two minutes, because then it's going to be gone. There goes the sun. Da -da -da -da. There goes the sun. I'll have my flannelette shirt on in about two minutes' time, I reckon. Oh, big bite straight away. Got him. As soon as I put it in. <laughs> Shouldn't have said big bite because it's only a little fish. I just put it back in. Had a bite, missed it, threw it back out, got it. It's a twilight redfin. Not one of these fish has been deep hooked, eh? They've all been hooked in the lip. You've been very well behaved. Now, on your bike after a triple backflip, you work, and that was about six or seven backflips. Either way, he's off. He's off like a bride's nighty, and I need to put a new worm on. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want a glimpse The future you need space And you said you'll put down your morning guns Would you follow me to wonders? Take my hand and walk Beside me in a world of thunder Fear is an imposter When you look at me this way I kid you not, that sun has been gone for about one minute Not even that, and I'm already getting cold Here comes the big old sea eagle, right on sunset a little stump you've just had a bite. Some still there. And again, it's just sort of jolted for And again, something's playing with it. I can just see, because it's really calm, just see the slack there it goes. Look, something's pulling it forward now. You know you want it. I've got to catch at least one fish on this rod. It's the only rod that hasn't caught a fish today. Got him! <laughs> I was wrapped around something, a bit of weed or something. Please don't get snagged on the way in. It's coming in under something, that's the concern. There's definitely a fish here, has this broken free, has he? Yep. <laughs> Look at that! That's a silver perch! That's my first ever Lake Buffalo silver perch! I'm not even joking! A midwinter silver perch from Lake Buffalo. I'm gonna get a picky of that. <laughs> that is so cool! What a very pleasant surprise that was! My very first ever Lake Buffalo Silver Perch! Oh, hello to mate, off he goes! <laughs> now, well that was totally unexpected! <laughs> that was a very unexpected catch! This has just been the best afternoon! I'm having so much fun here today! I am having the best afternoon ever here at Lake Buffalo today. I've caught a few redfin. I've got a feed of redfin. Once I fill up them, I'll have a little bit of yabby bait from the heads and the scraps. I've caught a trout. And now I've caught my first ever silver perch at Lake Buffalo. I uh, was not expecting that. I do, I do remember when they shared on their social media that they were stocking silver perch into here, but that's the first one I've ever heard of being caught here. When they stock them, I reckon a lot of them would get eaten by redfin. 
but you know there's a few that survive and that one's sort of outgrown most redfin now so that'll go on to survive and there'll be others that's really cool i'll just have a nibble on the other rod the long rod the breeze has swung around now it's blowing my slack line to the right it's been blowing it to the left all afternoon jumper on time now <laughs> I reckon it's gone from 15 degrees to 5 degrees in about the last 10 or 15 minutes. Just getting a real slight little touch on the worms here. Very faint little nibble. Is that a nice bite on the, oh, on the short rod? And again, got him. I put it in really close to see what would happen, and I've caught quite a nice sized fish. It's a, it's a nice red fin. I've had the lines out really far and I thought I might just put it in really close and I cast it in close to the bank and it wouldn't have taken five minutes to catch a really nice, well, not a really nice, but a, a reasonable size redfin. Awesome. See you later, mate. I'm almost out of light here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the same, I'm going to put the same worms back in if I'm not too tangled. <laughs> put the same worms back in and see how that goes. I thought I'd put it in really close to the edge just in case something's coming in shallow after dark and it, that paid off. Look how dark it is. The reason I'm still here when it's so dark is because I don't want to leave. I have had the best afternoon. I've got three different species. Huge thank you to Victorian Fisheries for stocking trout and silver perch in here. I've got a feed of redfin. I'll use the offcuts for those fish for yabby bait. The weather has just been absolutely incredible. It doesn't get any better than what it was today. Folks, I've just had an amazing afternoon at Lake Buffalo. The type of afternoon that dreams are made of. Thank you all very much for watching.